Hi, this is Tom Hall of Wolf Hall Studios. Today I'm going to try to do a, a video tutorial on a workflow that I use for putting together a projection map um, 3D shot. Um, going from um, cleaning up the starting image in uh, Photoshop, then going into Cinema 4D projecting that image onto 3D geometry and getting our camera moves and then rendering out into After Effects and then coming in After Effects and cleaning up the shot, framing it, and doing all the final tweaks. Uh, so let's get started here. Um, the first the first thing I'm going to do here is show you the image that I picked. I'm going to try to do this shot <clears throat> just because I thought it would be neat just to see this you know kind of like a helicopter move through this scene um, this is really handy trick um, when you're a smaller studio or an independent filmmaker and you need a shot where you can't rent a helicopter you know obviously if you need this big opening shot um, even if it's like a, a car driving across this bridge and you you know obviously can't afford to hire a helicopter and actually fly and take the shot and whatnot um, this is good for that so first thing we're going to need to do is basically we we need to imagine the way our camera is going to move through this shot and it's probably just going to kind of come from below a little bit and raise up in the air just kind of show you some depth um, in order to do that we're going to have to take out some of this stuff um, for when the camera moves we need stuff behind this bridge to get the parallaxing right the parallaxing is when stuff in the foreground like the bridge this rock wall moves when the camera moves this stuff moves but this stuff really won't move too much because it's so far off in the distance but we need something behind these trees so what we just need to do is we just need to erase this bridge out of here and the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a clone tool in After Effects. Uh, let's see, clone stamp tool will probably work just fine for this. Uh, I'm just going to take some trees and try to kind of just erase these out as good as I can. I'm going to hold down my Alt key and I'm going to just select an area I want to pull from. So, like right here. And I'm just going to come in here and erase out the bridge. And let's see, right here, I'll probably just pull some from this and pull some from this right here. Oh dear. Didn't want to do that. And try not to, uh, when you're doing this, try not to do too much. You want to really just stick to where the bridge was. You don't want to, like, pull too much stuff out. You pull too much stuff out it'll start looking funny so just try to keep doing that all the way across I'm gonna pause the video and finish this to save time but uh, you get the idea I uh, just taking little pieces from like right here and doing that look see how it just disappears so just do that to I don't know probably all the way across this piece so I'm gonna finish that so let me finish that alright so I raced out the bridge I'm just gonna finish up a couple more things and that's gonna be taken out like this rock real quick just to finish it up um, one thing I do is like on tree lines and stuff like this I'll usually take from the tree line and then come here and try to line it up in this you know in your little preview and line it up and then finish out drawing that tree line go ahead and draw the whole tree line out and that way you can come in here later and just pull from this stuff and we don't need that much because we're not going to parallax that far but just for reference it's just good to have so pull from this stuff and I'll pull from over here to get rid of this our power lines will just little chunks from right here to get rid of power lines we'll get rid of these power lines right here 
And um, actually, you know what? I think I might get rid of all the power lines altogether. I don't think I even need those power lines in there to make this happen. So I might just pull little pieces out of the background just to kind of get rid of the uh, background. Um, and it just pull from these trees to get rid of these guys. So I don't need them. Don't need it. I'm trying to do this without screwing it up too bad. Like I don't like altering the photos this much. But sometimes you have to. Okay. I'm gonna stick out a little bit right here. We'll just take from right here and just do this. Okay. So now we have the bridge, most of that mountain taken out and all that junk. So we can use this later. Um for a clean kind of a clean plate so I want to save that save it as the same name but I'm gonna just put a little tag at the end of it so I know it's the background plate and save it all right now we can uh, jump into cinema all right now we're in the cinema now we have to build our geometry for the shot and the, the the basic first start to set this up is uh usually i bring in a background image or a background and then uh, i'll start a new material um and then we'll use our um standard our first picture our starting picture and we'll stick that as our background now one thing um, I always do is since I plan the shot to be 720 I always start out and go ahead and preset my uh, window size the 720 um, the reason I do this is because I know in the past I have I've actually set okay so there we go I've actually set up shots before and uh, forgot to do that so I set up all the, the 3d geometry and then I went back and changed it to uh, the change the screen width and it actually stretched it out and did some weird things um, and kind of messed everything up so right now the picture is kind of squeezed um, you can actually go into this well I'm gonna keep it like this actually that doesn't look too bad to me it's a little squeezed but I'm not too worried about it you can actually change everything, get it back to your to normal scale and everything, but I'm not going to. Okay, so first thing is kind of get an idea of where the camera needs to go. This this in particular picture has a really high horizon line, probably up here somewhere, and you can actually set your horizon line to that. Um, but then again, looking at the way this geometry is lined up, it's probably not. First thing I usually do just to get the camera angle right is stuff pretty much like the bridge. I'm assuming that the person who made the bridge made it level, and that's just the good way to go. <laughs> so what I usually do, like for that, obviously I'll just pull out like a plane or a, a cube or a plane. And uh, I'm going to just kind of stretch it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just adjust my camera. Just, uh, that's weird. I'm just moving the wrong one. Okay. I'm just going to adjust my camera to, okay, to basically kind of fit that, you know, to get kind of the angle kind of right. And I don't like adjusting the geometry. I like to get the camera in the right angle, then worry about geometry because 